We've arrived at Jammu, guys. I have a good feeling. It's so barren. I can feel traces of divine energy on my, uh, I guess, tongue. But still, something feels off. You'll be fine. I'm here. Go on and uh, absorb, I guess. Kin, you hear that? Please tell me that's you. Go fast, missus! Yeah. 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 
Ugh. That thing smells exactly like it looks. I am so sorry, you two. I thought... Goddess? The immense, heavenly power of the dragons are like a lightning rod to chaos in a place like this. Do you see now? I... Yes. In their current form, these dragons will only bring you trouble. But you two have nothing to fear. I won't hurt you again. Nua? Hmm. It's good to see you again, Hong. And dear me. Goddess, it's really you. I went to every length to protect humankind. The chaos twisted our beloved me and Hong into something unrecognizable, hateful. So I took the only action I could. That giant sword, it, it was you. You killed them to protect us. Yes. Their physical forms are lost, but they can be resurrected. I didn't believe it at first, but you were right. Heaven has fallen, yet the sky remains. Goddess, it's my turn to ask. You're sure you want to do this? Either we get a rainbow, or we get hacked to ribbons by vengeful dragons and die screaming. What? It's a joke. I have a sense of humor, too. Go in peace, my friend. did well. We have a rainbow, just like you said. Hong and Ni have been restored to their true forms again. So I did well. Seven out of ten. Some of your choices were good. Some less good. You performed well, but you also got lucky. I did what I thought was right. And you should fight for what you believe in. We all have our parts to play, and it is your belief in yourself and others that will let you see your mission through. I feel like there's a but coming. But... Next time, I want you to stop and think about what your actions mean for a second. Less impulsiveness. More understanding of your situation. Goddess, thanks for believing in me. And all of us humans. We won't let you down. I know you won't, Ku. Unless you'd like me to yell at you some more. I can always do that. Uh... <laughs> I'll see you back at the forge.
see that fortress wall? Our troops would watch from here alongside our ancestors until the beacons lit up. That was a signal to march on. Ah, those were the days. And your ancestors are here? The fallen and dead warriors of your clan? Well, gods never really die, per se. They just, you know, become less present. But they're always around us, listening, judging. Maybe if I didn't cause the great sundering of the Sky Pillar, my ancestors would still hear me. What? I knocked that mountain down. That was you? But why? It's not important. What is important is making them happy and finally getting this flame to light up. That's what we both want. I'm sorry, can we go back to the part where you just admitted to dooming both heaven and earth? Kid, I'll explain everything to you after you summon my warriors to me. Even in death, they are bound to the core. And you're that confident they'll show up? They have to. They must. Go. That rings a bell. I already did what you asked, and I met your warriors. They're not coming. You met them? What did they say? The beacons, they worked? My loyal compatriots, you came back. We stand with Lord Gong Gong. He has summoned us. The war is over. The two clans are no more. But my legacy, ancestors, I should have died in that battle, Ku. Along with my brothers and sisters. They held their ground, but then some dark force. They were butchered right where they stood. And all the while, this laughter echoing around me, mocking me. I felt a rage for my people, my ancestors who would never get their justice. I smashed into that mountain with all my fury. I wanted to end it all, end myself. Lord Gong Gong, I'm so sorry. I tried to live my life in a way that would make my ancestors proud. And in the end, when I failed, I couldn't even end my own life. Your people loved you, my lord. Even in death, they still answer your call, just like you said. Clearly, you did something right. Lord Gong. Goodbye. Remember who you are. My loyal compatriots, you deserved better. I think your ancestors still hear you, my lord. But maybe they just don't like where you're at right now. It's been a while since I've talked to them. I have no idea what I'm going to say. Hordo? Little guy? Why are you here? The legendary watchdog and companion to the Fire Lords of Yen? Lord Gong Gong. I've sent this creature to deliver my thanks to you. Thanks? For what? For getting rid of that mountain, my lord. You were the only one strong enough in all of heaven to do so. My people that day, that was you? A nudge to direct your violent impetus in the right direction. Collateral damage, my lord. Please. And will you avenge the lies Lord Gong Gong doomed, little one? Do you feel that seething rage yet? Lord Gong Gong has honor and integrity. He will make up for what he did. 
but not before we kick your ass for what you did. That's the spirit. Sorry about your dog. That was just a shade. The real one lived to the ripe old age of 6,000. 18 in human years. Can you give me a second? Ancestors, hear me. I have followed your wishes for generations and fought with honor alongside the greatest warriors in our clan's history. But henceforth, I relinquish my position as warlord of the Yandi clan. I will help undo the damage I've caused. And asses will still be kicked, I swear. But I have to. Please, don't be disappointed in me. I really wanted to make you all proud, but now I must do what is right. I will honor you and our fallen through my good deeds. Our name will live on. Whoa! Thank you, ancestors! Did you know that would work? Uh, yeah. Of course I did. You know, kid, while I was airborne, I had a lot of time to think, and I realized what you meant. The flames refused to light up for a lost cause. I see that now. With your strength back, I guess the ass-kicking can commence? Posterius will be trounced. He'll pay for what he did. But first, we seal off that scar. Together. I'm sure Goddess Nuwa will be happy to hear you tell her that bit of good news. Nuwa? She's alive? <laughs> I always knew that old girl was tough. I'm guessing she's in the usual spot.
Goddess Nua, I'm here. Ku, how did you? No time to explain. The five color stone, is it? Little one. Isn't it beautiful? The scar. Your useless little stone is in good hands. Mine. Now nothing stands in the way of our glorious return to chaos. Kid, get him! Now! Ku, don't be afraid. I told you before, I won't let you win. Then come forth, little one. Let me savor the taste of the last human in our final moments. Coming here, child. Don't you know how dangerous it is here? Well, what do you have to say for yourself? You weren't planning on coming back, were you? <sighs> the scar is an aperture to the original form of the universe. Pure chaos. Once opened, it can never be fully closed. Dao Wu was right. The five color stone alone isn't enough. Heaven, Earth, and life. 
Life in all forms ultimately leads to purpose. My purpose is to undo the Scar's damage and keep it sealed so that it may never harm us again. A sacrifice. Sorry, kid. Commitment of this sort usually requires an eternity or two. Gongo. Ku. I created life on this world. And I will ensure its continued existence. We all have a part to play. A purpose. Yours is to continue living. Ku. I thought to hide you. To keep you safe while I would be humanity's protector. But... It's you. You are as strong as any god. And with you and Gong Gong keeping the land safe, I can guard the Scar in peace. Nua. I know you may not agree. With this and many other things. But I hope one day you can understand. I... Goddess, I didn't come here to stop you. I came to say... Goodbye. What I said about not letting you down. I'll do my best. Promise. Will I see you again? Of course, Ku. Yes. Until next time, Nua. Until next time, tough guy. Goodbye, my child. balance as it was before a new era filled with endless opportunity a chance to make things right we remember the stories we shared and remembering what we lost we live on for ourselves for those we care about we live on Thank you.